14 traits of churches that multiply. New research results from many countries. Despite spacious claims to the contrary, Christianity remains the fastest growing faith in the world today. However, most new followers of Jesus do not join the kinds of churches that sociologists and demographers count. Those who multiply churches of new followers in many countries have revealed their methods. They plant many new churches that show the 14 following traits. Churches that multiply 1. Aim to bless and make disciples of families and social units, not just individuals. Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. 2. They raise up and equip natural leaders from within existing groups. I left you in Crete, so that you might put what remained into order, and appoint elders in every town. 3. They focus on obeying Jesus more than on accumulating knowledge. Make disciples of all nations, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. 4. They make disciples by God-led discovery Bible study more than by preaching. They received the word with all eagerness, examining the scriptures daily, to see if these things were so. 5. They cultivate maturity by prayer and fruitful witness, not by gaining knowledge. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. 6. They meet in private homes and public venues, more than in buildings that they own. Day by day, attending the temple together and breaking bread in their homes. 7. They average fewer than 20 participants in regular interactive gatherings. When you come together, you can all prophesy one by one, so that all may learn and all be encouraged. 8. They aim to multiply new churches rather than to grow existing ones in size. So the church had peace and was being built up and walking in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit, it multiplied. 9. They practice simple activities that each disciple can facilitate and replicate. Be imitators of me. That is why I sent you Timothy to remind you of my ways in Christ, as I teach them everywhere in every church. 10. They involve participants in doing ministry more than in receiving ministry. Paul took the disciples with him, reasoning daily, so that all the residents of Asia heard the word of the Lord, both Jews and Greeks. 11. They work towards multiple new generations, not just daughter churches. What you have heard from me? in the presence of many witnesses, in trust to faithful men, who will be able to teach others also. 12. They spread through relational networks rather than attracting strangers. Cornelius was expecting them and had called together his relatives and close friends. 13. They prove more stable than do churches of gathered strangers. Greet those who belong to the family of Aristobulus. Greet my kinsman Herodian. Greet those in the Lord who belong to the family of Narcissus. 14. 
they remain invisible to most of the surrounding community. Greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, remain in the same house. Do not go from house to house. A continual multiplication of new churches remains the most effective way in which to evangelize any population.